Here's a quick video to show you how to do a transient dynamic analysis in some solid. Okay, I have this uh, assembly of uh, a grapple trailer boom arm, and I want to analyze it dynamically. So here's the original model. Here's my model, somewhat simplified, turned off the wheels, etc. And what I have already done is I've calculated the first 100 modes, and I've done a static analysis. So here are my modes. We can look at those. And you can see I can sort through them and animate them. Uh, or I can look at the modal participation factors. This is a very convenient way to you know, scan through your modes. You can look at them by uh, the, the participation factors, effective mass, or cumulative mass, and you can pick any column and sort it. So you can really quickly see, you know, which modes contribute the most. And if you pick on the row, it'll actually go and animate that, that value. So very easy to look through your modes. Okay, let's do a dynamic analysis though. So here is our, our static load. I've constrained the base and I pulled down on, on the boom, on the grapple. Let's look at this dynamically. So the way I would do that is I'd come up here, I'd create a transient dynamic analysis. Now when I create the analysis, I have to pick which modes I want to link to. And by the, since I only have one, it'll default to that. I specify the time period and seconds I want to for my time span. And they also pick the damping. I can have Rayleigh damping or modal damping. So I've got 2% modal damping in place right now. Okay, the next thing I have to do is I have to create a, a driving function. So I can pick it here. And the function can be done a number of ways. I can just enter XY data values. I can read it in from a CSV file. Or I can use a bunch of standard functions. So what I'm going to do is use a standard function. And you can see we have rectangular pulses, triangular pulses, uh, half signs, harmonics. I'm going to do a rectangular pulse. And I'm just going to hit it for the first, start at time 0, for a duration of 0 0.1 seconds. I'll have a nice rectangular pulse, and then I'll release it. OK, so I'll do that. So there's that. Now I have to make uh, a load. And I will take the, uh, the same place here that I did on my static. I'll load that and this. I'll load it in Z minus 5,000 Newtons. That's exactly what, uh, the same as my, my static load. OK, now I just need to analyze that. So I can, I, to do that, just pick here and say Analyze. The dynamics analysis in some solid is pretty quick. This should take, oh, about uh, 30 seconds to do, and then we'll, we'll uh, look at the results. OK, all done. Let's look at the results. I can go and plot any contour. Let's look at this displacement in Z. And by default, it shows the peak load value. I can also scan through the time steps. So I can drag through like this. I could just animate it and animate through my whole uh, time duration. Or probably a little bit better, I can just plot any value. So I can pick a plot value like there and plot it, uh, plot the time history. And there's the time history and I can, you know, query my plots this way and look at the different values, zoom up, etc. Okay, hopefully that gives you a quick idea how you can do uh, transit Dynamics and SimSolid. Thanks for watching.